The dresses are ready, the wigs are on, the makeup is done, and after many long hours of practice and preparation, some of the world's greatest dancers are about to take to the stage at Belfast's Waterfront Hall. It's a nervous time for those waiting to compete for a world title. This is like the Olympics, yeah, for Irish dancers, except we are fortunate enough to have a competition every year. The thousands of dancers competing here have come from all parts. Our world back in 1970 when we commenced consisted of, say, Ireland, Britain, North America and Australasia. And that was the extent of it. But now we're all over Europe, as far east as Russia. This is Irish dancing at its highest level, so having the edge is all the more important here, and that includes a good image. Well, Irish dancing does have a name for glitz and glam and has been compared to toddlers and tiaras and the rest, but it is a sport at world level. They do work very hard and they do train as world-class athletes for it, really, that's what it is. Backstage, dancers have mixed emotions about their performances. It was OK, I could have done better, but I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, well, usually they don't have the lights turned on in the audience, but this time you can see everyone, so it's a little more nerve-wracking, but it's pretty good. And while it doesn't always go to plan on the day, there's always next year. We're at Whelan RT News at the Waterfront Hall in Belfast.